All right, folks, TechNivers here. As you can see, my personal use license for Fusion 360 has expired. I got a notice saying that I need to either subscribe or switch to a student license, which is a whole nother hassle. So today I'm going to show you how to reactivate or activate a personal license for one year's time on Fusion 360, and we'll jump into it right now. TechNivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash TechNivers. So this is the email you're going to receive when your subscription or trial is about over. It pretty much just says that you need to subscribe. You get these benefits. They'll give you 20% off subscription, all that stuff. Um, if you scroll past that, down to here and you don't need to have this email I'm gonna show you I'm gonna put a link to the site down below but we'll click this it says you'll need to renew by following these steps to continue personal use so it is still there they're just kinda of trying to glaze over the option so not too many people use it so we're gonna click on this link here and it's gonna bring us to this page now this is the knowledge.autodesk page basically it's a question and answer site a lot of FAQ some troubleshooting things like that and it's going to tell you how to renew a startup or personal license for Fusion 360 so basically all we need in here is there's another link down here where it says visit visit free Fusion 360 for startups and that's for startup license we're looking for personal use so Fusion 360 for personal use so this site is the site that will actually be linked down below uh, it's a really hard site to find on your own so this is what's going to give you exactly what you need and what you're going to need to do is go to free and get started here we'll click on that takes a second then we're going to be presented with this form to fill out go ahead and fill it out i'm not going to show you my information so we'll skip past this part basically once you agree to the terms and click next it will then bring you to this page so if i click download now it will download it and i will be able to sign in with that name that i had just registered you're going to want to use your email address and you'll have a password as well now if you look here there will be a notice if your copy is expired that says it's not registered here. In that case, try clicking this and signing out and then signing back in. If that doesn't work, even if you have a pre-installed version, the only way I could get it to accept my license was to download again. And it wouldn't let me run that file, of course, once I clicked it. It said that I already had a version installed and then it must have updated my license. But it does also say it may take 30 minutes for your new subscription to update. So give it 30 minutes before signing in. Um, that's basically the gist of it, guys. That's how you're going to download Fusion 360 and use it for personal use. It will give you a one-year setup. You'll have to do this again next year. That is if they don't remove everything. So I definitely recommend getting a hold of this link that I'm putting down below and using that. It's going to be the fastest way to get you what you need. Now, a quick note, some of the functionality of Fusion 360. Now, basically, I can do anything that I want. I can still build this. I can export STLs. I cannot export um, certain file types that are blacked out in here. And most of those are files I don't use anyway. So uh, we have the ability to do OBJ, uh, step files and STL so those are the three main ones that we want for our 3d printing needs You can see that with the personal use version I have a bunch of these items that I've made that are marked read only you can only have a certain amount of items that are editable at a certain time But it's not a big deal because you can go in and make other items uneditable. So basically you can only have um, a certain amount of tabs open to edit at the same time and if I click on this it might tell me well, I guess we can just see how many I can make editable. I want to say that it's 10. Editable documents. And then there's a whole folder in here, and it looks like I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so then I can go in and take all these, make them read-only. That's fine. It says you can make it editable at any time. So really, it's a pain having to go and turn them on and off if you're working with multiple documents, but that being the only real limitation this is a great version of fusion 360 and i think you can do pretty much anything you need to you do still have access to the uh, additive path so you can slice with it if you want this is for 3d printing we're not going to get too much into that right now this is basically a download video so now that you know how to download fusion 360 
check out my channel. There's going to be a couple videos on designing with Fusion 360. There are a bunch of other 3D modeling videos if you're doing it for 3D printing that you might actually like. So definitely take a peek. Leave a like on this video if it was helpful, guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Pay no attention to the mess going on behind me. Pay more attention to the mess going on on my shirt. Check this out. Finally got the merch available. That's right. Finally hit 10K, so the merch is finally here. Make sure you check out the Teespring merchandise bar below the video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because we have more videos coming your way. In fact, I've thrown a couple of suggestions, videos for you to watch on the screen right now. So go ahead and check those out. When you get done, don't forget to pop over and check out the merchandise. There's plenty of stuff to see. And thanks for watching, guys.